So now I would like to tell you that the oral rehydration solution. So oral rehydration solution in short form that one is called the ORS. So ORS are used to treat dehydration. So I have told you for the case of the diseases just like the diarrhea, cholera, cholera this uh, the symptom of these uh, diseases uh, is the dehydration. So on that time that what do you have to do is uh, dehydration is common illness in travelers also unlike other fluids the ratio of the ingredients in the ORS in the ORS should be maintained that one should be matched that what your body needs to recover from a diarrhea illness so whatever we need on that time so these ingredient ingredients should be present there and ORS contains three ingredients first thing the clean water next second thing the electrolytes and third thing the carbohydrates so these three kind of things should be present and if you will see about the clean water that means that has been boiled or disinfected or for a commercially sealed bottle so this kind of water should be it and the clean water just not like that the so it is looking clean no that is not the clean water so this kind of water you have to take next the electrolyte so anything that means the salt here it will act as the electrolyte which are chemicals that your body needs to function properly so we need the electrolytes to function our body properly and the thing is the carbohydrates carbohydrates usually in the form of sugar so generally in our rehydrated oral rehydration solution we are using the three kind of ingredients one is clean water second one is the electrolytes and third one is the carbohydrate so clean water actually salt and the sugar clean water sugar and salt so these three things we are mixing but the thing is that the preparation of oral rehydration solution at home that one is not that much easy task so ORS preparation is also uh, you have to know something what the ingredients you have to take three ingredients just like water salt and sugar I have told you but the combination you have to maintain otherwise you may face the problem whatever that which purpose you are preparing it it won't work well so and the solution will have to maintain dehydration better than the plain water also if you will take it during the boat of sickness and the thing how to prepare it so one fourth teaspoon of salt you have to take and with two and half tablespoon sugar these two things use a spoon to quickly incorporate with dry ingredients together that means you have to mix them and afterwards add four cups of water to this mixture next make sure your measurements are accurate that means whatever the measurements are you doing that should be accurate and the thing is that otherwise you could become sicker if the proportions are off that means if you will take the ingredients if you mix the ingredients in the another proportion on that time you may fall sick also that means what the for which purpose you are using the ORS that won't work and when the water looks clear again the ORS solution has dissolved and it is ready for drinking that means whenever you are pouring the you are giving the water adding the water in the mixture of the salt and sugar on that and in the first case the so the solution won't look very clean because you mix some ingredients and afterwards if you will stir the water continuously on that time after a certain time it will again look clean on that time your solution is ready for the drink and the solution should
should be consumed by the sick person in small saves over the course of the day. Try to take drinks every 5 to 10 minutes regardless of vomiting or diarrhea. The solution will help to maintain hydration better than plain water also with during the boat of sickness. That means in the time of sickness, if you will take this OR rays on that time, that one will work better than the plain water. And the thing is there in the whoever is the person they have to take in the interval of 5 to 10 minutes this kind of things they have to take is it clear so this all about the ORS preparation how you can prepare the ORS next I would like to say you about the recycling the waste so whatever the waste you have you have to recycle it. That one is a beneficiary for our daily life. So first thing recycling, what is that one? That one is a process used materials into new useful products. That means with the help of this recycling process you can use the new thing. So the effective recycling also you have to do and that one is one thing that the recycling also reduces less energy. So the first thing is that the recycling is a one process with the help of which you can produce the new thing with the help of the waste material. And this is done to reduce the use of raw materials that would have been used. So to product to produce the new material, new products, you definitely should need the different kind of raw materials. So in this way, the raw materials you should not you are not no need to use those raw materials and that would have been used recycling also. And with the help of the in this recycling process. Uh, less energy is required and great way to controlling air, water and land pollution. So in the one side you are able to save your raw material and in the other side what you are doing with the help of less energy also you are able to produce the new product. That's why that one is very effective and recycling starts with households or the place where the waste was created. In many serious countries, the authorities help households with bean bags with labels on them. Households then short out the waste themselves and place them in the right bags for collection. This makes the work less difficult. Yes, it happens because if you will see that what the household or the person, people are doing, they are keeping that separately. Suppose in your house, whatever waste you were uh, throwing, so that one is throwing does not mean that you are uh, putting it inside the bin on that time. What you are doing with the help of your hand only you are doing. So on that time, that one is not become that much dirty because afterwards, it is rotten with the when it is coming in the contact of the water or the any wet material. So that's why dry waste and the wet waste. So these two kind of waste, if you are able to separate by yourself on that time, the task becomes easy for them for the reproduction also or the recycling. And the thing waste items that are usually recycled include paper, plastic, glass, aluminium waste. So if you will see here the plastics, the paper, the aluminium cans, the glass, these are the So in the different way, the different uh, bucket, if you can place them, that one is a good process for the recycling. That one helps a lot also. So now I would like to tell you about the importance and benefits of waste recycling. So after doing this recycling, what the thing 
you are getting here. So first thing, recycling helps to protect the environment. So environment is very important to uh, the civilization for the all human being as well as for the all living things also. So that's why, so this we have to save it. How it is possible? So nowadays we know that the global warming is a very big problem. So in this, this is because the recyclable waste material would have been burned or ended up in the landfall and on that time pollution on the air, land, water and soil is reduced. So in this way we are able to save our environment and the recycling conserves natural resources yes, definitely because with the help of this recycling you don't want the new raw material which one is that means result that means which one is stored in our nature is it so this kind of raw resources you don't need you don't want so that's why that one is also one kind of benefit and recycling saves energy. So with the help of recycling, that one is need less energy to produce one object or any kind of product with respect to the object when it was born, that it was formed in the first time. So that was, that's why it is very useful for us also. If you will see here, the different processes are there. See here energy, here waste process are there. So here fuel, gas, electricity, here first the waste is coming from the household. Then waste collection is doing, uh, is being done with the help of the different agents of the municipality and workers. And afterwards they are being collected to the plant. Afterwards the waste process are being done up then from there the fuel gas electricity these all are being produced so this one is a very important thing and now it's time to go through the lesson to recall the entire lesson so first thing i would like to tell you that the contamination of food and water cause diseases so you have to take care of the food and the water. They should be pure enough and they should be clean enough. Next, the diseases also spread due to the unhygienic conditions and unclean habits. So that means the lack of sanitation. That one is the one kind of reason. And the waterborne diseases are those that are transmitted by Drinking unhealthy water and recycling is the process used materials or the waste into new useful products. So this recycling helps us in different kind of ways. First thing it is helping us to save our environment. The environment it is giving us by using less amount of energy and that one is uh, that one is not required the different kind of resources which one is stored inside our nature so no need to waste that things also so that's why these are very important the recycling and the standing water is another favorite breeding ground for these deadly parasites so the stagnant water that one is very uh, harmful for the civilization because from the stagnant water different kind of uh, mosquitoes can breed there so from there and mosquitoes means they can spread the disease so you have to be careful to the stagnant water whenever uh, any kind of object you will see you should not leave them as in that condition you should keep their upward down so that no water can be collected by the container so in this way we have we can control the different disease 